crowd to the latest on how Maine schools are planning to reopen in just a few weeks. We thought we'd do something a little different tonight. Yeah, we're going to look at the problems facing students and parents and schools from point A, the school, to point B, the home. Earlier this week, the uh, Lisbon School Board approved allowing students to return to the classroom full time. News Center Maine's Vivian Lee wondered what kind of precautions they were taking to keep everyone safe once that first bell rings. According to recent surveys, 80% of parents of students in Lisbon want their kids to go back to school full time. Julie Colello Nichols is the curriculum director for the Lisbon School District. That our kids need to be in person, they need to be with their teachers, and we need to be able to support them in that way. And so that's what we know is best for Lisbon. 20% of the district's nearly 1,300 students are expected to do remote learning. After the school board gave the district the green light, crews began preparing to install carport structures to hold classes outside. Face masks will be mandatory, minimal contact in hallways, desks will be spaced apart, students will have to maintain a six-foot distance in the classroom and during lunch periods. Students will arrive on a staggered schedule, only using one entrance, and everyone entering any of the district's four campuses will be scanned by thermal cameras, which can read temperatures within a tenth of a degree. And um, it will then take like, um, the, the profile of that student, send it off to the nurse and the building administrators. Nicole Sauter teaches seventh grade at the middle school and is Androscoggin County's Teacher of the Year. She says the district's plan is giving her the confidence to go back to the classroom, but concerns remain. I'm not necessarily thrilled about leaving my classroom to go teach ELA and social studies in a math science classroom. It, it's different, um, but really that's a small sacrifice that I can make to ensure that our kids stay safe. The district is using federal CARES Act funding to hire a trauma coach and provide training to all staff and teachers to help students cope with different issues. Teachers who may be uncomfortable with returning to the classroom can take unpaid leave for a year. Only one educator has chosen that option so far. In Lisbon, Vivian Lee, News Center, Maine.